Good morning. Well, we got uh, we got a lot of wheat to move out. Uh, Daryl just sold about I think 300 ton of wheat that it can get hauled out any day. So this truck hasn't moved in what two months. So we got some snow to clear off. Plus we got corn in these bins, and we got corn getting picked up today. So we've got some grain to move, and hopefully this truck fire is up. This tractor, the 7715 here, we're thinking that the batteries are starting to go. Tractor is seven years old and still original batteries. So they were doing good in the beginning of winter, but as the winter has been going on, they've just been slowly getting worse and worse. So add another thing to the list that we got to do. Kubota should just fire up. And probably will fire up already. Typically, it doesn't. It, it happens every now and then where the battery goes dead. And it doesn't take much normally for it to fire up. But. Yeah, there she goes. So that didn't take much. that whole barn to go and they landed the poop right in the trough who did that hmm. guilty all right out you go We got another heifer calf yesterday. We are getting down with the heifers. You've been calving nice. Put this one out. I gotta process this one. And then you can go out because you've been getting a good, you've been doing well already. Go around, go around, around. this way. Home is out there. Run around. Hey, that's about a 90, I'm guessing that's about a 90 pound calf. That heifer had a nice, nice uh, bull calf. That's definitely a bit on the heavier side that we like for heifers. If heifers, if our heifers can have uh, calves that are in that, we would like around 80 pounds, that'd be ideal. Once you start getting over 90 pounds, they have to work on it a lot harder. And uh, yeah, it just, just takes longer. And But that cow, or that heifer did really good. She took to that calf right away and took care of it right away. Calf got on right away. Had a good feeding pretty quick after it was born. So I don't know, I didn't, uh, 
heard the coughing, but I couldn't, by the time I got to it, they stopped. I figured it a good 90 pounds. I'm thinking 80. Well, oh, 94. 94 pounds. Boy, cutter is just heavier. Well, we fed heavier and we're paying for it because yep. of the cold weather. So, okay, here. Well, we've got our truck started, but there's a lot of snow. And me and Daryl don't quite feel uh, like shoveling at all. Out, and we can't pull it out. The 77 trip 15, we tried pulling it out with that. That didn't work. So we got, um, we got the charger going on our quad track. We've got to bring that tractor in to the shop because uh, we're going to start getting it ready for seating. So we got to do oil changes and uh, we got to do some maintenance to it. There's some things that need to get done. So we figure, well, might as well pull it out now. Today's a nice day out. It's around minus seven-ish, maybe minus eight. Not quite sure what it is, but it feels nice. But that tractor was didn't quite want to start, so we had to put the char charger on it, and hopefully it'll I'll get it fired up now. I don't know how this snow all got in here. I'm guessing that it came through the tops of the shed up top or down low, but. There is a ton of snow that got into this corner. So, uh, once we get the tractor started, like there is just it's a lot of snow. So, we're gonna see if we can get this tractor started and use it to pull out. Use it to pull out the semis. We got a big tow rope that we can hook onto it and see if she fires up. Dang it. I'm gonna get our little diesel heater. I'll throw the heater underneath. And see if we can get this thing warmed up. All right, got the diesel heater going.
Friday. We'll park this thing in here. Monday, it'll be all... Yeah, about you, that's good. Monday, it should be all dried up, warmed up. We're gonna start working on it next week. Once again, we had one today. Eh, it wasn't really ours. Peter has two. Peter, our hired guy, who is here. He's in university this winter. He has two heifers that uh, are at our farm. This is one of them. So this is one of the heifers that he has in she calf today. So a nice heifer had a nice bull calf. You ready to go in? This is one of the cows that goes in every night. And she's probably just gonna walk right in. Hey, come on, let's go. Let's go into the barn. Let's go. Let's go. There. We don't have a lot giving us signs that they're gonna calve soon. This is one that'll probably just walk in. There's, let's go, one. Yeah, she's coming along. This black one right here in front of me is my son Parker's. He's got a heifer. She should be calving within the next week, I'm thinking. And this one there is Haley, my daughter's heifer. She's got a little ways to go, but. We'll throw them both in the yard, in the barn. Easier to watch from the cameras from there. Come on girls, let's go. Yeah. Like I said in a lot of videos, we often bring the heifers in early because they get used to coming in the barn and they like it in the barn. Yeah, she's a wavy yet. If she goes in, great. If not, I'm not going to run around for her. Come on, let's go, sweetie. Hilda. See, certain cows just like, like it in the barn, so then they know when the end of the day is. No, all right, well, we're not going in there tonight then. And this one here is Quinn's. That one, my nephew's. I got one in the back there. She's really close to calving, but she's psycho. Well, psycho for us. When she calves, she just goes absolutely crazy. So we actually don't even bring her in the barn. She's gonna have to learn to figure it out on her own. I think that's got it. That one is Peter's other heifer. They were both AI'd on the same day. So they should calve. I'm gonna try and get her to go, go in. Come on, sweetie, let's go. There. Oh, 71D. You want to go in, don't you? I'll let you. She's getting close. A lot of the ones that I'm seeing are getting close. I'm thinking are within the next week. So. There, those two don't need to be in here. They always come in every time, every night. You have to come take a peek at the barn. Well, that's a wrap for the day. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for taking the time to watch. Thanks.